we go. Here we go. Listen, bro. We out here. Nightlife. 42. We got a banger of a set. Styles versus Mute with an off the grip. You already know it's going down. Ike Diddy. Woo! A huge call out on that monkey flips. Gonna get the spot dodge out just in time. Alright. Nothing. Not even gonna grab the banana, but it's definitely threatening the banana space, which is something that a lot of Diddy's gonna gravitate towards. And that down throw bear is gonna take that first off. Give Mew a nice little, uh, a nice some room to work with, get a little lead. Ooh! Oh, great DS yeah. smash there by Giles, though. G Giles is. I don't think Giles is Giles. Huh? Do you know? I, I've been saying Giles. All right, let's say Giles. Let's be on the same page. But I think he's looking for these hard reads. I think at this percent, an F tilt will probably kill the ledge. Yeah, F tilt. So, now, really just find anything to keep Diddy in a bad spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't really have to re make as hard of a read if they're at these high percents. Yeah. Earlier, he was at, Diddy was at 60. He did an F smash. I can respect it because, like, like, you don't need an F smash. That, yeah. That's going to do it. The up B will take. Yeah. So he did an F smash at 60. I'm like, okay, that could have been an early stop. An F smash at 100, it's like, dude. dude eh, no need. He's already dead, dude. Like, blow on him. All right, catches the banana this time. Uses it to cover space. Going to get back. Take center. Solid. All right. And now let's see if he can hold center. Ooh, you know he's going to hold it. <laughs> that Aether is ready. Oh! A little bit of a mix. Gonna catch it, catch the ledge jump. Good coverage by Mute Fitter. Ooh, I think he's fine, but he's definitely in danger. What? The auto cancel. Oh, that is yeah, crazy. Auto cancel. Yeah, at a certain height, the um, the quick draw will actually you, like you just don't land with the normal amount of lag. Mm -hmm. So you're able to do those really quick options afterwards to catch people off guard. It oh, it, no one ever expects it. Yeah, and I gotta go play. Good luck, Waltz. Gone. Oh, unfortunately, SD by Mute Spinner there. Oops. Hello, hello. All right. Good evening, everyone. Oh. What's up? We had a little quick little commentary switch. We got our monitor messing up over here, so I'm sorry that we cannot commentate real time to what's happening. Uh, but I'm Danza. I just hopped in here. And I see it's Mute Spitter on the screen right now. Love yeah. to see that. It's Mute Spitter Giles right now. Okay. How's it been so far? Uh, pretty, like, Mute Spitter's been doing a very good job of holding the lead for okay. most of the game. That's good. Seems he just found it, too, I think. We'll hear by the, uh, okay, yeah. Yep. All right, all right. Mute Spitter got that one. Okay. Giles went for more than a couple of unsafe reads on that game. Okay. A few uh, unnecessary S matches when Diddy was like already in high percent. I see. Um, although there were a good, a good couple of safe plays too. Thankfully, a couple of uppies here and there. Okay.
the drop down up is a very safe option most of the time, but what got punished was the neutral get up after it. Right. You cannot make a habit of that. Nice. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Gradually wrecking this back up. A little bit of a hasty forward smash there. Gao's got a small punish, but not too big from you. Just being a little too greedy on the on the down air attempt by Giles. Yeah, in the case of Mew, he hit the point blank uh, banana Oof. right there, but I want to see him get a better follow up off of it than just to grab Giles. If he can hold center here, this is a pretty good way to continue this lead. There you go. Nice little side beat to get the get up option. Okay. Edge guard getting punished. Down throw back air. Good for Mew. Nice. Dropping the banana, but no follow up off of it. Giles getting to center. Giles catching it. Oh, it does not make use of it. Uh -oh. But the Aether. Okay. Gotta, gotta take care of it. So all of those hasty up Bs or side Bs, even we were talking about before, seem to pay off right there. Even if it wasn't a situation where Mute had touched his shield or Giles felt like he had to swing out of like a disadvantage, it was more so catching Mute's jump or just knowing that he was going to be in that airspace right there. Up B is also good for that if you know that your opponent's going to be right in that space. So yeah. Speaking Giles of a couple of, uh, of risky plays, I also saw uh, quite a few hard reads by Giles. I yeah. think he was trying to cover uh, Diddy's roll from ledge with up smash with uh -huh. when Diddy was only at like 40 or something. And it's like, I understand that you want to cover as much space as possible, but that move is both slow and laggy, so why not just up tilt? Right. No, absolutely. There's, there's better options for that that can be less risky. And also, if, even if you do know you have the jump on your opponent, you know that they're going to roll there, maybe you want to hold on to that read until it's a better situation where you know it'll kill or maybe it'll close out the game or something. Absolutely. Something to just keep in the back pocket. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move on to game three here, back, back to PS2. PS2. I don't remember if they played game one here. I believe they did. Oh, okay. Good little start for me just to get a couple openings. Ooh, careful side B on that one. Yeah, That's why. Side being right in front of the banana is definitely your advice right there. I know that you want to do it's a good option for bursting, but you gotta watch out when the banana is on the other side of that. Barely avoiding the dash tech, because yep. air dodge by mute. Try to go deep with that, just barely missing it. Hasty, right there. He's bitter. He's able to get the cross up on that dash tag, but still nothing out of it. Down tilt. Nice and Punishes point. the jump. Yep. Right when you get up in Diddy's face, man, that point blank banana is waiting for you. Very good patience by Giles. I'm oh, sorry, by Mute. It's, it's the same thing right there, man. Like, he's got a good read on the air dodge just to go for the up smash right there. But even then, like you were saying before, an up tilt would have been so much smarter right there. Just a little hesitation up tilt would have been a better idea in that situation. Yep. The best part about it would be that it would reset. Yes. So he could just combo off of it or pressure the landing in another way. Exactly. The right ideas, but just not the right options to cover that execution of these guys. And that might be what does it for him in the set. You can see so far, Mute is playing a lot safer now that he has the lead. Yep. Dash tech in the fair. Keeping Giles off. Giles forcing center that time. Now Mute's on the turn in the corner. Ether's right into the banana. Ooh, that. Oh, okay. okay. There it is right there. Now that's the time to catch something like an air dodge, and now you know that option can kill. But he showed that hand at that time, so is Mute going to be ready for it next time? Find out. Nice. Banana down throw back air. Now punishing that down tilt with the back throw, getting the monkey off. Again, man, those side Vs are just a little unwarranted at times. He got punished for it there, but not too much. Giles has gone high with his side V three times in a row at this point. I feel like it's a pretty safe read on Mew's part to look for it again. Yeah, something to look out for for sure. Up smash is going to catch it. Miss space, forward air for sure is going to get punished. Oh, speaking of high side Bs. I like when Diddy's used the banana toss itself as a way As to a cover. move, yeah, 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 it's really good. It is good for catching even like an air dodge or something, just to kind of switch up the tempo too. It's a solid move. Mm -hmm. Okay, point blank, down throw, Ooh. tried to go for the dunk to end it all. I respect the attempt. Yeah, guys had the right DI in that moment too, though. Okay, he's out of there. All the way out of there. Alright. Oh. Watch out. Okay, good roll on mute. 
I genuinely didn't know uncharged up he goes that much distance. Oh yeah. I thought I actually thought oh, he has to eat first. So in. the really important thing about Diddy's barrels is that the recovery is lackluster vertically. Mm -hmm. But horizontally, uncharged, that thing not only does it have really good horizontal uh, coverage, but the wiggle room that you can actually angle it as you're going horizontally is much greater than if you were to try to go straight up. 